Well, it's, uh, it's about the middle of fall, and I'm out here in the garden, and uh, some things are starting to die off a little bit, and some things are still growing pretty well, including this big old tomato plant right here. Kind of bushy, kind of out of control, and uh, I come out here and I look for hornworms, or what I, what I call as tomato worms. And uh, I want to show you how I, how I find these guys. Um, they're very difficult to see because they are the same color as, as the plant. And uh, just really, really hard to see. If you, if you come out here and you just look for them, they're almost impossible to find. Especially in a plant that looks like this. This thing is overgrown and out of control. But I'm still getting tomatoes off of it. You can see... There are still flowers, and uh, oh, I just saw a tomato here somewhere, buried inside. So I'm still harvesting tomatoes off of this. But what I look for when I'm looking for these guys is um, something like this. You can see, I hope, you can see how some of the uh, some of the uh, leafy material has been eaten here. There we go. And uh, I've cut some of this off here because what I do is when I find them, I cut off all the material or the spots where they've eaten so that I can find them again. What I'm looking for is places where they've been eating and they don't go too far from there. Here's another example here. Tomato worm has been up here and uh, there you go has been eating there and there. All the leaves are gone. I hope that's in focus. It's not in focus. There we go. There we go. You can see that you can see that. So I, I identify that on the plant and then I just start looking around. And then be very careful and look. There he is right there. See him? That's him. He's a big one. I've seen bigger, but he's big enough. Hornworm. You can see the horn on him. On the back. On the bottom. And there's his head. Say hello to YouTube there, Mr. Hornworm. So, that's how I do it. I identify the area of damage up here. And I just kind of start looking from there out. Sometimes you can see the droppings from these guys on the leaves. Look right here. I hope that comes out. So I will, uh, I will remove him and introduce him to the Blue Jays. And uh, that's how I do it. That's how I find a, a hornworm or a tomato worm on a tomato plant. Have a nice day.